Vitality on the T side, Astralis on the CT side, and we are on Dust 2 for the first map of the best of three. We're looking out long, Cyrus taking a bit of a charge. That's a nice fight to win. It's Glock versus USP, and he is running to catch Sip. He's gonna slink back around the corner, so they nearly would have got him there. That would have been that would have been probably a knockout if they could have done that. Instead, now we'll see if they can survive this fight long range. They've picked up one of the USPs and they can slow it down. The bomb's on the other side. They've sold it. If they walk in now, there's an MTB bomb site. Astralis have completely bought this. They have rotated everyone to the A side, and they're about to be so shocked. Oh, and there's the plant. But they realize, however, that there is perhaps a gap here. Shoxy's all alone on that B site. There has to come the rotation quickly here from Vitality. They have to get over there to help Shoxy. Sip knows two are in the middle, so that's a lot of counting going on. Shock's in the corner. He's going to go down. Megas with a big kill. They're defusing the bomb, but it's 10 seconds and coming in from Upper Dark. He can spot it. It's Nibiru with a headshot, and no one's defusing now. Dupree, I don't think there's anything he could do. He does not have a kit. 10 seconds is way too long, and it's going to be Vitality to win the pistol round. What a shocking beginning. You're not going to get the entire Astralis roster rotating to A. That's just not how it works. But yeah, they picked the perfect round to do it in. They're going to try and get in here. A little bit of revenge. MP9 on Dupree. That's a lot of kills. Glaive, though. No one digs yet. Magus is about to show up. But luckily, Shox is going to take care of business. And that's really important. Now they can focus on the main entries into the bomb site. If Glaive is still down there, that just allows more people to start streaming in. They've taken a lot of damage, though. Vitality, three on three. And once again, no kit in play. So they need to be a little bit patient here, but yeah, without the kit, it means that they it's just so difficult to get in here with enough time. They have to find the kills immediately. Zipmix is going to kick things off strong, but he gets traded out, and that's Apex holding strong from the window. They figured out where Device is. It's a 1v1. Apex, no health, but there's no time for Device, and he is going to be forced into the open. Apex was waiting for him, and that is how it's done. So I would say normally it's not such a big deal that you win the first three rounds after winning the pistol, but right now, I actually think it does make a big difference. So Absolutely. let's see if they can continue here. Up on Catwalk, quick push right into Device, and he's now picked up that AWP, and he's going to continue breaking Nivira and RPK first, and Saibu in with a little bit of a return. Shocks in upper dark, and he wins the battle against Dupree. That is great news, because otherwise they were in trouble. Three versus three. A retake, but they know Shox is behind them. How do they retake this? You have to move fast. And losing Zip makes it long is not going to help things. Apex takes Glaive's head off, and there it is. The final kill from Shoxy on the flank. Vitality, four rounds in a row on the T side. And the first two rounds that Vitality won back then were on the T side were just really fluke rounds. They probably shouldn't have won. That game probably should have been 10-0 to begin with. And it didn't turn out that way. But his is, this is something completely different. They're playing a very cool game at the moment. Nibiru and Apex picking up a couple of kills. And look at Apex. He's so close to catching them there. He still might, though, with another headshot. He's finally going to get taken down. But Magus inside of the site alone. And if he dies, it's a two-on-two. -two, it's an afterplant. And they're going to be in trouble. And RPK, clean headshot. Very smooth. He knew that Magus was going to be back there. And now they're going to get the bomb plant. They still have a smoke and a Molotov. Going to use it maybe a bit early. But I guess they want to be safe about it. Mm. Don't take risks in this sort of scenario. Shoxy, however, is in just the nastiest of positions, and we'll see if Glaive can win this. AK versus M4, it's not going to be easy. And Glaive, does he check this corner when he comes around? He's got that other angle, and the timing from Shoxy is impeccable. <laughs> Swings just as Glaive is checking spawn. That could not have been better. By an enormous amount. So for them to be behind here, Astralis, at the beginning, they just like to make life hard for themselves. Now, the thing is, when Vitality do these B-splits, they almost always have Apex on the catwalk, and sometimes he'll make a jump down into CT spawn, or even just catch people flanking in, and it's really cool. Oh, only the one kill, though, as the smoke fades. Saibu quick with the reply, and now Dupree showing up, and he really wants to get here, but walking in just as they come could be very dangerous. They're going to get a couple of kills there, and that will shut it down. Also, Apex will be found by Sip, and I think, yeah, that's that's probably Sip having studied his opponent. He needs to be on that lurk in-game lead. There's a shot. Ooh, he hits it. Shoxy getting legged, down to 18 health. And so, Team Vitality now, this is looking very good for Astralis. As Shoxy makes his way out, he's not going to check close. Glaive is going to win that duel, revenge for the last round. And that leaves Zaiwu in a 1v4. And with the time working against him here, this totally favors Astralis. He's going to be walking out into the catwalk, and we've already got Device in position to deal with this. He's going to jump straight into battle. And they don't lose anyone else, which, you know. Excellent. One of the really impressive things last time they played on, on the A bomb site specifically was how good Astralis was at retaking the site. You know, almost no matter what, they would win those A rounds. So I'm curious how this will play out. RPK goes down. There's Device with a killer. Now they can slow play it. 
20 seconds. Going to be a bit of a flash to set it up for Glaive, and he'll take that kill, no problem against Nibira. So, not even talking about a retake here. They're just defending the bomb site very well at the moment. 10 seconds on the clock. Apex swings, and actually, pretty impressive double kill, all things considered. But time had simply run out here for Vitality, so it'll be Astralis with a second round on the board. So this is an excellent read from Astralis. They figured this out. The full focus here on long. There's going to be two players ready and waiting, and there are no flashes to help Vitality. They almost caught Glaive running into that. That's incredibly scary. A really good job between Glaive and Sip, and that will shut it down. So, yeah. I mean, a lot of damage being dished out. Don't, don't get me wrong. This is pretty impressive, all things considered. For Vitality, getting three kills in this round. Dupree has picked it up in the meantime, and he's definitely very, very capable of warping. We've seen that before. Shock's actually putting a lot of pressure on here. Let's see if they turn this into a B-Split once again. Shock's even getting a kill as he jumps down into CT spawn, and it isolates Magus. He is so dead. It's going to be RPK to take him down, and I'm shocked that Sip has picked up two kills. Another one as well, dropping Apex. How are they losing that many players? They had essentially already lost this round, or won this round vitality. They were in such a good position. They, they still might win it, but... I can't believe it's even this close. Finally, finally, the bomb is being planted inside of B, but this looked like it was done 20 seconds ago. Oh, man. Yeah, this is this should have been done 20 seconds ago, except the bomb gets dropped, and that just throws everything out of whack. And now Glaive has joined up. They're out of utility, though. Can they find a flash grenade anywhere? That would be crucial right now to get back onto this site. Instead, it's just going to be the single smoke, creating a little bit of space. They've got that HE on Glaive as well. He's going to chuck that in, too. Back of the site. Big damage. Nearly takes RPK. That sets it up for Zipnix. And there it is. The retake from Astralis. Picture perfect. Getting the maximum value out of their utility every single time, man. Yep, they are doing a good job. Oh, is that the deep smoke for CT spawn? This might be a very, very quick uh, execute into the middle. Yeah, so they're throwing that all the way from outside of long. And it's going to land. Yep, there we go. But Sip doesn't apparently care about smokes. He's going to take one. Now they're getting completely chewed up. So, wow. That was, uh, otherwise, that is really, really cool because obviously normally you set up that smoke from the headshot box in the middle, the one that's right in front of shocks here, but it's really quick and you can have people running out right afterwards. So a little bit uh, shocking that Vitality got caught in such a, they nearly take him down, which is a little bit surprising. It looked like at least he should have been able to do a bit more in return. But yeah, they've got long. Is, uh, that's, a, that's a first step in the right direction. And he's going to get caught. Oh, Nivira had the right idea, I think. Saibu, though, going to be picking up the vice. And Sip, yep, he is very low. If they realize it's him, a single grenade would probably do it. Glaive is long away, far away, and he's flanking all the way out long. So this is a very, very good fight for Vitality to be winning. Getting that seventh round, I don't think Glaive can do anything. I respect the fact that he's trying, but they know where he's coming from. And oh, so a lot of bullets. That presents an even further obstacle. One health, and you can do the damage. You can hit the headshots. Glaive is slowly working his way up here on this flank, making sure that Vitality have not backed out of Long House. Vitality, they're only interested in pushing towards the site itself. And we've lost one of the flankers as well. Dupree off of Catwalk. The Vice is still here, though. Oh, what a shot from Nivera! Takes his head off, and Vitality setting themselves up for success here in the first half. They're going to come out ahead in the end with eight rounds. Oh, I think they've done very, very well. Normally, we, you know, we like to say 8-7 is you know, sort of a sign of a somewhat even game. I really don't think that is the case right now. I'm so impressed. Like, I knew I was going to be some of them. Vitality are a really cool team to watch, and they have definitely been preparing for this. Their T side is so much better than last time. It's looking so much fresher, and Astralis were not ready for it. 8-7 in favor of the Frenchman. But this isn't going to work, because Apex is here. He's going to see past this Lurk Smoke. He's going to see nobody coming through. Vitality are not going to bite. Zywu, he's already rotating out. Whoop. There's Magus with the shot, though. That's important. Those are the flashbangs on the ground. Shox is there. He's going to get the one headshot, but he has been found. They know they're coming in. He really boxed in at the moment. Magus will find him. Another couple of kills. Great headshots coming through. Three of them so far and looking for more. Nearly getting that one. That's going to at least get him onto the site. Let's see if they can hold it and get the bomb down. Apex is now out on long and he's about to have a really good angle against them. Swinging wide for the fight here. He's got no cover though and Device will take him down. Oh, but Saibu will end the round. No bomb plant. Three kills on him. And, you know, normally, especially the current sort of version of Counter-Strike, I, I don't put that much emphasis on, on pistol rounds, but this time, definitely do. Saibu getting uh, some farming action in. Not even going to reload his SMGs. <laughs> Waiting for more. And he follows up with an ace from the pistol clutch that he had. If they turn it around, I'm really going to be impressed. Let's find out. Magus 
clearing the corner. He's going to get instantly flashed, and now they're going to be pushing in. He can't see anything, and Apex actually lands a scout headshot, taking down Dupree. That is wild. He was close with the scout. He should probably have been dead right then and there. Glaive is going to die. I don't even know why he doesn't win that fight. It's an MP9 versus the AK-47, but now Sip sneaking through the smoke, and he's going to get obviously destroyed by Apex. I... I don't know what he was doing for the smoke either. I'm real confused. There's just, this is just all over this. this. Is just layers on layers, dude. All the times these two teams have played on this map, one is the other. It's mind games on mind games, and then the individual level coming through here. Device needs to make this play happen, but it's not going to. Shoxy catches him out. I mean, I just don't even know if it's it is. Who knows who that is a trap for at this point in time? You know. I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting for that. RPK, this is very aggressive. And that's something we actually don't see that much normally out of Vitality, out on long. Mm. But taking away Sip, one of the heavy hitters right now on Astralis. They're pushing out in middle. They want to try and go for that split. But already Cyrus here locking it down. Monitor on top. The bomb is trapped in middle. And they're running out of time right here. Cyrus coming in from behind, shooting him in the back. Yeah, it was actually shocks on the other AWP. Cyber just picking them apart from the high ground there. And Meg is in a one versus three. So that looked like Astralis, as soon as they lose Sip, they think, oh dear, we have to do something. We have to make a play. And that is not at all the same as having a plan that you are dictating the pace off. And uncharacteristic, obviously, considering who they are. This is the most successful team in CSGO history. I mean, I think at this point, right, just whatever whatever else in terms of tactics that they might need and you know figure out what, what works you know are, are we talking a splits or b splits or just you know, some other some other cool variation the basic still has to be get the money away from vitality so they can't have that double up all of the time that that has to be i think step one so i you know this is that they're in a deep hole at the moment shocks that's a pretty uh pretty confident position to be in yeah, once you get the shot, you can't really escape. Glaive lining up the Deagle. He can't get the last one, but Dupree can, and they win the round. A desperate round that they absolutely had to have. Not at all. Just barely holding on, Anders. They're fighting. They're fighting. Dupree refuses Ooh. to say die, and there's Device. Gets the shot on Nivera at long. Gets that timing perfectly. And now is Shanksy really thinking about this? Is he going to get aggressive into upper dark? Because they are going to be ready for him. Device catching Zywoo in mid as well. Astral is coming into it. I mean, if they run through though, Shox could still line up an incredible multi-spray, but I'm not sure it's going to be easy. They're going to throw all the grenades through. If he turns around, he's going to be flashed. Yep, there we go. Apex is there for a nice headshot, though. And they're going to have to pull back. They realize there's too much firepower. Devices out in the middle. All of Vitality are inside of B, and they can't escape because they're being just completely guarded by Device. So what an incredibly odd round. I'm not sure that's exactly the case, but... Um well done. You're going to have the rounds that you can replicate, right? The ones that you've prepared where it's called, it's what we call set strategies. Apex is ready to take the fight even with just a scout and against the entire Astralis team in the middle. I That's pretty brave. RPK being flashed in. That is a nice headshot. The Deagles could still do it. RPK with a double kill. All right, three on three. And Vitality actually being really successful in having that fight in middle. These flash setups from Vitality are just yeah. icy. A really good sit walking out apex can he get the headshot because if he doesn't it's gonna be trouble let's just see he's gonna be walking up with a usp doesn't even need it just gonna take down sip who already thought that that hit was clear and there's shocks coming in oh no megis one versus three how do you bring this back you have the time and you have the bomb those are some good signs but apex is already out here and he's put him on 57 and now the the game is up he knows exactly where he is so they're just gonna they're just gonna be coming for him magisk that bomb needs to go down and then you'll have to figure out what to do afterwards yeah and it's perfect shoxy and nevera can buddy system up together so bomb it needs to get planted nevera's being patient here he's waiting for shoxy shoxy's collected an ak of his own and now they have two rifles to work with and magus has no information he has no idea where they're coming from he's gonna line the first one up he's gonna go for it magus gets both they did everything they could vitality they did it right it's what we can expect from the top two teams in the world right now. They are just at each other's throats. And again, go. same call. Yeah, they're going to be rushing for it right through the smoke. They take him down, Nivera. A couple of bullets more. I think he could have had a triple then. He's in for it, but Dupree will take him down. And they drop Apex through the double doors into middle. And aside with an RPK, they never even get close. They're going to have to call the save immediately. That is such a bold <laughs> call to be making. I, I can't believe they keep getting away with it. I mean, I am already 
very impressed with the fact that Astralis have managed to get this many rounds on the T side. It's way more than I was expecting. So now, can they get the last few? If they bring this back to 16-14, to that would just be something. Already, I think we're getting we're getting everything that we could have possibly wanted here. But it is looking more and more like it's leaning towards the B-bomb side for the minute. That's a nice pick-off. Apex taking out Glaive. Side was there to drop the device right afterwards. And that is about as good of a start as you're going to get here. A little bit of Molotov damage on top of it. Why not? So now it's time to make the plays. Dupree trying to do that, seeing if he could catch anyone out here on long. But he's walking into another AWP. Could have already got himself killed right here. And there is an M4 down below. He's looking for the headshot. He's going to pick that one up. Actually, Magus to do that. Jumps down and trying to catch him. That's the element of surprise. And now the bomb is being planted up here. Now, finally, the run comes to an end for Dupree. It was a long push. Headshot and Sip as well. Oh, dear. Out on long. Magus, he's going to lose the fight. So it's all on Sip. One versus two to try and clutch it, but this is also what he's made for. Flashbang into the window, Sip gets the headshot. He needs just one more shot, he's right in front, and Sip, he's going with him. He takes him down, of course he does. 15 to 14, and Astralis at map point. Let's just see, there are the smokes going up initially, so now everyone knows Vitality will have heard the double smoke. They should be able to guess what's coming next. Shox is going to throw out a little bit of a counter nade. 37 seconds, let's see what they could do here. Four on four, and all of the weapons favoring Astralis right now. Saibu and RPK both coming in from the catwalk, but there's the crunch coming. 30 seconds now, Spray is in, and Shox goes down. Next in line is Devira. RPK just barely catching Sip, but I'm not sure it's enough. RPK is going to get dropped. Saibu now in a one versus three with an orb to read take against three and he will go down 16 to 14 as they absolutely bring it home astralis with a win on dust two in the most unlikely fashion i can't believe that this actually worked out shoxy's face says it all anders clear out connector shoxy's still hanging around here he's going to be close enough to hear the footsteps as well so he knows these guys are coming for him Got a bit of information gained here from Shanxi, but he needs to stay alive. You're seeing the rotation coming in from RPK as well. Apex is not going to be far off of that A site either. And so Vitality are adjusting to this. Shanxi with the beautiful headshot on Zipix, though, doing the damage. But there's Dupree to bring it back. Three on three. Clock is running down now. 40 seconds. We'll see if they uh, find some anywhere. RPK is out looking for information, and I can kind of understand that. He wants to see if anyone is out here now. If he gets caught, that's a disaster. Oh, he's going to get a headshot instead on device. He looked like he was looking the wrong way, and he still managed to do it now. He's back on track at RPK. Oh, beautiful work with the pistol. A triple kill, and he looked like he was under no stress at all. The suits are starting to walk in. He was actually making some noise. Did they hear that? It doesn't look like they did. Now they're on the site, and yeah, they did just completely circumvent them. Misutra is hot on their heels. Let's see if they're going to realize he could get a quick kill here. 30 seconds. Yeah, he's going to catch Glaive and nearly the bomb as well. Great job on Misutra. And in the middle of the chaos, Apex coming in with a kill. That was very, very well done. It looked for a minute like they actually were about to make a horrible mistake, but I think Misutra more than made up for it for a round finally for Astralis. They do have a lot of grenades, and they have some of the most incredible flashbangs on this bomb site. So. They're setting it all up. RPK, he's forced into the fight, but saved by his Sip. I think Magus was about to be in a lot of trouble. Now come the deep Molotovs, just forcing them forward. They can't really go back and hide. And Saibu, who's out here with the AWP, and Sip is picking up all of the kills right here. Device to take one as well, but Sip took three with him before he went into the ground. And now it shocks. One versus three on a bit of a flank, and the bomb is being planted. And he'll find the first one nearly for free. How do you get the other two, though? He has a smoke and a kit. I think if he finds one, smoking the bomb and forcing the fight is definitely in the cards. That's something that he could do, but he has to get that first one in there, and it's not going to happen. Dupree will take him down. Just stopping them in the monster tunnel, which, I mean, mm. that's a pretty sensible idea, but Sip was there to catch him. Shocks, though. He's got the right idea, but Glaive slightly better with that weapon and does a little bit more damage. He'll take him down. I don't mind it from Shocks, but it didn't work out this time. We're going to need some more of that uh, aggression out of Shanxi. We'll see if it pans out for him, as this is going to be the push. Once again, all of these flashes. Misuda getting spotted as well, instantly removed. And it's Zywu and Apex, and they have severely tapped into that bank that they developed over the first four rounds of this half. Vitality, they've got to back off and save these guns. They just don't have any money left in the bank. And so Astralis now setting themselves up for success here on this T-side. Back-to-back B-site hits. And the beauty of it is, because they're finding success with these B-site hits early, that's Zywu dead. Do we lose Apex? Apex is going to come up here. He wants that off. He needs to be in a position to save that AWP if he has a chance. Yeah, definitely interested in it. He already knows. That's going to be so hard to do now, though. Oh! 
that's not weird. long as well. Okay, but point being is Vitality was pushed up this far and especially into connector. Suddenly they would know what was coming. RPK deep in the corner. He's got no backup here. This is a really big issue. The org is gonna fall down and Apex, he's in an interesting position. He could go for a bit of a flank. I don't know if they heard that, but Glaive is about to show up. Oh, Apex, he's got the line up. He is gonna get the one kill, but he's about to be shot in the back himself. And Sip takes down Misuta. So in spite of that, it's still gonna be a two on three in the bomb. It should be planted here. So slick, Anders there. Shoxy though, Zywoo and Shoxy now get to show up for this party. They're gonna crash it. And now, well, Device is gonna be able to post up on the site. There are no damage dealing nades here for Vitality to ruin him. Just two flashes and a smoke on Zywoo. Yeah, and he just got Molotov the way, so he's, he's simply forced back. Sip winning the fight. Shox was not expecting that position. I would have loved to have seen what would have happened if the RPK and Apex set up down there at the Monster Tunnel had stuck there. If they had stayed in that position, could they have actually shut it all down? That would have been so much fun to see. They knew they would have to fight Vitality in this kind of situation, and any edge you can get, that's what you want. Here's the setup though, the one that we didn't see earlier, but they take down RPK before Apex can set up the flashbang. That is what the whole thing is about. He wants to set the pop flash to what? Masuta picking up Megas and Dupree. They must have lined up. I, I'm gonna have to see that replay. Two versus three now, Glaive and Device. They are on that ledge waiting, but Vitality are here. They know the bomb is there and they're gonna be able to shut it all down. Finally winning a round and tying up the scoreline at five to five. Or tell Astralis rather, that Vitality were stacking B because there were four players. There are four players, three players still. And there's the boost, beautiful work. The flash set up from Zaiwu. The man can do it all, Anders. He can even throw flash grenades for his teammates. Yeah, he's not just a, not just a solo player either. You're right. All right, up here at the bomb side though, Apex and Shox are in good positions. This rotation is very, very uh, just well done from Vitality. I think this is a round where they finally have a very good read on what Astralis are doing, and it shows on where people have shown up. Glaive and Sip though, I can't believe they're winning the fight even, even to the extent that they were here. The Molotov nearly taking down RPK at the edge, Glaive, and he's not able to land the shot. That actually could have been a nightmare. Shox is going to be pushed up in a one and done sort of scenario as well. He's got no way out unless he gets help from his teammates. Apex has a flashbang here for shots, but they're not even going to throw it. That's interesting. Yeah, delayed. Oh. They wanted to try that on the other side, right? Glaive was setting up uh, the, the flash for the device to go and take the fight. And Misuta coming in to take down Meg is just continue to fight here. They're just, I'm really shocked that Vitality are winning this fight in such a fashion because actually Astralis were in a very strong position out here. Weird to see Glaive and Device not coordinating better on long. Yeah, oh, especially I think what really was confusing to me is that Device, as he came up to the corner, he ran the whole way. So if anyone was there, I mean, they would have had the time. Oh my god. Oh, wait, right, hold on. Zipnix is still alive. Just <laughs> wait I a mean, second. 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. He's running back. So if he's if he's really, really lucky here, he could just get the bomb plant down for free. But how does he escape? He's going to smoke up the high ground. They don't have any HEs or anything. So this could get a bit weird yeah just go straight for the plant five seconds he's at least gonna get that but they're coming for him and this i mean you can show oh, what he picks up one more shot and rpk's on the other side zip finally goes down but that was a one versus four and now he's just hoping that someone will forget about that and try and go and check it so we'll see yeah trying to get in a little bit early they know that he's here now he's still sticking around normally if you fail that attempt you probably will fall back and he's going to get overpowered by RPK. That is, he's very, very insistent on trying to get that kill. And again, nobody there to trade for Astralis. Device gets a beautiful headshot on RPK, though. Brings it back to a four on four. So luckily for them, they're able to make that work. But now Shoxy, the heavy hitter for Vitality, has rotated onto the site. He's going to be ready for this. Waiting right around the corner. Could line them up. And here it is, the slaughter. Shoxy, what a beast. Dude. From Vitality's point of view, even being a man down, you're right, those grenades on Astralis, not that they know how many are left, but that should give them a decent shot. Saiwu will take a kill, and he's trying to fall back. He's nearly getting caught. Well, he'll take RPK instead, if that's what's on offer. <laughs> he wanted Saiwu, obviously. Now, actually, could be a little bit tricky. Apex is here, though, as well. So all three members of Vitality, Saiwu going to continue to fight. Even low on health. Can he find one more kill? He can't. And now, up at the sniper spot. It's Apex doing his best to help out, but they do have him pinned down up here and out in the open. He's going to fall to Dupree at the end. It will be six rounds in the first half in favor of Charles, but nine. That is the plan, at least. See how long that plan is actually going to be working out. What even is the setup? <clears throat> they're, just, they're, just, they're just in a position to go either A or B. They're so close to middle, they can go whatever they want. They need to. 
Masuta finding out there are a lot of people in here, and I'm in trouble. He's gonna get one, but there was no, no need to even call for backup. Bomb is now, weirdly, very far away, so they've pushed up. I think Misuto is meant to fall back and pick up the bomb in case something worked out. That's not going to be happening now, and I don't know. This is very awkward. Saiwu has a P250. He could do some damage. Shox is going to get run down, and he sees it making a bit of noise and shooting Dupree in the back of the head, but that only gets them so far. 40 seconds. The bomb is still miles away. He is a robot, isn't he? Impeccable. He's setting it up with that. Necessarily mechanically, but just the timing of it was really important because otherwise he might have been run over. Sees another one, and yeah, he knows what is up, but this flashbang coming in will absolutely tear him apart. Magus going down, so that is the A bomb side lost, and the bomb should be planted here. Dupree on a flank from long, but it's happening maybe a little bit late, and they already were falling back. This is a disaster. Misuta will pick up Dupree, and now it's a 5 on 3. The bomb is already down. They're going to pick up that Famas on the ground. Sip is out here hiding in pretty much plain sight. He'll only get the one kill, and I'm not sure that's enough. Glaive, he gets traded right away, and now it's a one versus three for Sip. And even his internal logic will tell him that it's not worth going for. He's going to get found, and Vitality, that's a massive round to win. So, uh, you know, they didn't play it much towards the end of the year, and maybe Astralis were thinking this is how we change it up, but clearly, you know, Vitality's still comfortable on the map. He's snuck in. I'm not even sure they're checking for this. They didn't hear him running, I think, because there was so much else going on. Device might be in a little bit of trouble, and he's going to get found. But Dupree still has a chance to play his hand here, and he'll at least take down Apex. He knows there's a Mac 10 out there somewhere, but a lot of trouble this time now for Vitality. They're in a, such a weird position. They almost just have to go straight for the B-bomb side, yeah. and they will at least take down Sip. Timing, yeah, they, I mean, that's, you've got no other choice here. Uh, Misuda and Shox here are just going to have to play this together. Nice HG on Misuda. Shox, though, going to get the punish. Takes down Glaive, and now it's a two-on-two -two retake scenario. No kit picked up, but Magus, if he gets these kills, plenty of time. Three kills for Magus. And, well, if you peek into this, it's going to be a sad time. Apex barely survives with eight health. That's unbelievable. Shox is going to back him up as well. Magus has taken down Misuda, though, in mid, but the pressure is on now. Device, he's got to get these kills. He's going to get one of the friendly flashbang right in his face. Somehow it actually still worked because I think the uh, enemy player out there, Shox, was also flashed. He's got the bomb. Oh, this is all over the place. Shox, the bomb has dropped out. That's a huge issue now. And Simon and RPK, how did they get in here? They have to take the site, then run out long and pick up the bomb and then get back to it. Sounds really unlikely. That's a, it's all out chaos. That was a really weird battle out there. The fact that Device went in to try and hunt down Apex, even that is obviously dangerous. That's a nice headshot. Maybe it's not done yet. 22 seconds. I mean, he's in a great position at Glaive to try and do something, but he's checking it. Another headshot to come through. Oh, no. Bomb tapped once, and he's he's tempting him. He wants Sip to try and come for him. 10 seconds on the clock. He's just spraying through. Sip is right there, and he breaks it another time. Sayu in a one versus three, and he brings them all down. They do have a lot of money on the Vitality side, so, you know, there's a lot they have to chew through here. Charles flash straight into B. They know they're weak. They know they're reeling a little bit, so they're just charging right in to try and take them down. Shocks with the opening, dropping Glaive. They didn't check for Megas, though. He's here, and he's going to get a great double sip to try and help him out. And now Shocks, one versus three, and he will take that kill. He's very dangerous as well. There's plenty of time, so, yeah, it's all around an uphill struggle for him. 16 seconds, he snuck all the way in, but yeah, they know where he is. They've already figured it out, so brave attempt there. I don't mind him trying to make that whole run work. Maybe you could have found something, but this time... Device and Dupree were not that aggressive this round, and so they don't have any early warning oh, no. on this, although Glaive and Zipnix are working their way back. Are they going to make it in time? Wow. The fact that they got caught doing that boost, uh, that could really, that could have cost them even more than that. Shocked that they won the fight out at long. Now Device is trying to get back in here. He's very low on health. Masuta taking a kill. They know where he is. That little jump spot there to pick him off. And Sip and Magus, two versus four. They're in a lot of trouble. Copy K. Yep, don't want to have the Molotov. But Cyber will take care of business. And that's going to be 15 rounds on the board for Vitality. They were so far out of position to try and deal with that. I'm just, uh, I'm feeling for Glaive right now. Because he is struggling and you can tell. He is just charging into these fights. And at this point, I think he's just seeing himself as a sacrificial lamb. Just, you know, I'll run in, I'll be the bullet magnet, and you guys need to play off of me. Because uh, I don't know how many times I've watched him run headfirst into a fight only to die, and he's been on eight kills. Yeah. Per... You go, you go, you keep vote, you keep going, you keep fighting in these rounds, right? Oh, no doubt about that, but... Um, the odds. 
to three. Swings. Masuta takes a bit of damage. Glaive device are also pushing quite aggressively. But, I mean, the fact that Dupree is already down there and, and being aggressive, I'm sure it'll be called out. And Vitality, you can see how careful they're being now. They're really making sure. Good, smart play here. Shops trying to actually jump up against the edge of that tunnel to get out a little bit faster, but didn't work out. He's going to go down as the only player so far for, for Vitality, and that leaves Device in a one versus four to try and save the map, and it is just not looking likely. Again, I just think we're so blessed. Inferno, best yeah. of three. It, I mean, again, they're the two best teams in the world right now, and to get to a third map, I just think it's everything you could possibly want here. Device, I don't know, the bell is ringing. Might be the train bell, but certainly ringing for Astralis right here. One versus four, and he's going to get a headshot. For the oh, what? No way! He actually makes it work. That has to be just pure out, just divine <laughs> intervention. <laughs> the Shut best. up. I can't, <laughs> I can't <laughs> I've never seen anything like that ever before. Oh. Let's see it again. I'm just waiting. Let's see it again. This is the only way, literally the only way Vitality can throw this is by lining up for him. The collat. Let's go. Oh, he <laughs> takes his face as it all. His soul just left his body. Yeah, I <laughs> don't even understand. You have to roll the you have to roll those dice a long time to get that outcome. I am so shocked. I'm so shocked. Masuta will take down Magus. That's a good start to the round. Finish it off. Don't let that just uh, just find a way to win this now because if it goes into overtime, I don't even know how devastating that would be. Dupree, a single bullet is all that he needed, and Glaive will come up with a kill. So four versus three right here. Stay composed of your vitality. This is a mental game now. Apex is going to take a kill, but Glaive actually doing a lot of work. A triple in the round right here. And Apex one versus two. Now, Zip is very low on health. And I don't think he spotted him then, but he's still going to have a better angle. And he'll catch that kill. Device is sneaking in behind him. And has an M4. Has all the health and everything else. He's got a kit as well. He's not... He's so... He's really trying to mind game Apex. He's assuming that he would have already been there. But Apex is just behind the box. A little bit of a jump down. And he's a little in a hurry to get shot in the face. That will be 16 to 10. They don't get rattled by the absolutely godlike round that came out of that deagle. And, I mean, we're going to be talking about that for a long, long time to come. But third map will be in store for us and i think that is really the most important thing here they're the ones who need to show us what they're capable of here and they start on the ct side i'm not sure if this is a good thing though that they're starting on the ct side well let's find out really we're hard. in the action already masuta picking up two clean kills down the middle they did take a tiny bit of damage but nothing to write home about sip is over here he's been the end of many teams in this bomb site let's see if he could do it again it will be nothing but headshots and it's not even going to be close to working out Dupree will take two, but they should stop fighting and get the bomb down here. Vitality have already done enough to make this a very, very good round. A device will fall. So, nice, clean, nothing complicated. It just works. Now, this is going to be so hard for Astralis. Oh, wait. They fell back from Arch way too quickly. Now, this is a Mag 7 on Dupree, so he's going to be in, I think, oh, well, maybe not. He's maybe going to be fine. He gets one more kill. <laughs> just headshots. It's a rare gun to see these days. Now, they'll pick up the kill and pit as well, but Dupree just got the double, and here's the flank coming in. Alone is Saibu in one, and a one versus three, and he's going to get picked off. Astralis, they get the revenge. What will be fun, though, is seeing whether or not Vitality can win this round, because then it swings right back in their favor. Dupree going for a fight, and that was against the AK, and it still comes out on top, so kind of good news. Mm. Three versus four, though. Very nice, and now he's wrapped, and he's going to be able to support Device. And Device currently posted up with the MP9, hoping that somebody's going to come close quarters. Dupree's going to speak. Nice flash setup! Oh, impeccable stuff! Zip mix with the flash, allows Dupree to pick behind it. Two kills, and now it's Zywu all by his lonesome. Again, Astralis's nade usage on this map is something to behold. It's art. I, I mean, that flashbang landed. I think it hit their eyeballs. <laughs> is, is that accurate? They're, waiting. They're a little bit delayed. They have one they can throw into the, the ceiling here, and, and it'll bounce back down. So 
They're waiting for that smoke goes up and running through just as it happens, taking down Glaive. That was really well timed. Sip trying to hold them back. He's going to flash it himself in. Actually gets a kill. And if they didn't duck into that corner, he could have got the double. Now he's got backup. And there's a lot of backup out here. If he can stay alive for five more seconds, they're going to be here. But he's Molotov into the fight. They've got him out in the open. And he finally goes down. Device there with a the refrag though. Now it's a three on three. And everyone is here from Astralis. They're in the right position. They catch Apex. And the bomb is on the ground. And this is trouble now. RPK, he's low on health. Saibu have to try and fight this one back. Megas will get one. But they're all over him. He sprays through, and he nearly catches Device. He's up on that box, but he can't get it done. The Deagle coming out for the kill. But this is that brick wall, though, that uh, Astralis are capable of putting up on the CT side, where you're just going to feel powerless. And add that, the add into that the nade damage, add into that all the pressure. Megas getting pressure, because speaking of, in front of Library. Now Glaive is going to get caught by Zylu. Oh, guys, is looking the wrong way. Big opportunity there for Glaive. Finds that shot, and he's going to be able to rotate back over here. And this is where the action's going to be. RPK and Apex, they've got the bomb right, side out, right outside of B. Yeah, they wanted that to be B split, but Glaive walking in. They're inside of the smoke, and he still gets one. They must know Sip is in here. And Apex, zero kills so far. He's going to be going down. Oh, man, or maybe the one kill actually now. But Nivira, one versus three. He's boxed in. There's no time. He, this cannot be done. And not even if you're a device with a deagle in a one versus four. This is just time is making this impossible. Dupree will take him down at the end. A position you can actually very easily grenade, but I guess he's just banking on the fact that they maybe won. Dupree trying to line up. He's going to get the one kill. Swings even further and almost catches RPK with a grenade. And finally, they put an end to him. So three on three. And Magus down in the pit and actually missing the spray. But Magus is one of the best players in the world at playing this one. Double day. He takes them down. Not exactly what I had in mind when I was saying that, but I guess it works. Cyber comes in. He just runs into the fight. Not even afraid. It drops Sip and now he's got the health. And the bomb as well. He's got every advantage right here. Only thing he doesn't know is exactly where device is, but he's figuring that out one step at a time. Oh, man. Let's see. Can't walk too far away from the bomb, even if uh, device doesn't have a kit. There's no way for Cyber to know that. He's hiding inside of the smoke. He's hoping that he comes that way. Device, I don't know. Time is running out. Smoke is going to be fading. Device is right there, and Saibu is playing this so perfectly. There's nothing he could do to win this one. What a beautiful round. Three kills, and once again, it's Saibu trying to save Vitality. It could be beautiful. 35 seconds, and here come the first line of grenades. They're going to be joined right down. Meg is caught completely blind, but it's a double hit setup. And Dupree, he only gets the one device inside. 25 seconds on the clock, and he can't keep it up. He wanted to go for that and just buy more time with the spray. Apex not winning the fight against Sip makes it really awkward. Now it's a two on two. They do have a smoke. Yeah, that smoke from Nivea is going to be huge, and they have a follow up Molotov even that they can put up there. So I don't know. This retake will be very tough, I think, for Astralis. But Zai was alive. Doesn't matter about the nades. The boss is still here. Just roaring. And now Glaive has, having to work his way up short. He is going to be the one taking point. But Zai was just going to do everything he can. His teammate's going to sell himself first. Nivera will be the first point of contact here. He draws attention to himself. And that sets it up for Zai to just eliminate them. Glaive, though, with a beautiful shot. Whips around. Puts the pressure on Nivera. Nivera has to come here and check. And Glaive is ready for it. Not connecting with the bullets, though. And this is going to go the way of Vitality. Nivera plays it impeccably. The fact that they've done this, I'm, I'm so worried about this. Not sure this is the best call, but I'm happy to be uh, proven wrong. It's looking good here. Could have easily been a double spray. Dupree down here the max. 70 gets one and a follow-up. Absolutely exploding them. And that's the bomb up there. He wants more. Apex is right in front, and he's really not had a good game here so far. <laughs> a little bit of help from a device inside of the bomb site. I'll, I'll eat my words happily. This force up was absolutely fine. I take it all back. Utility damage at the end of this map is going to be off the charts. It's actually going to be disgusting. Go. Counter Molotov coming out. Sip. Yeah, he sees a couple of people out there. Only one of them with an AK. That's the real threat at the moment. Yeah, Saibu, he's going to get... Oh, actually, Masuta with a headshot there. Saibu trying through the smoke. And I think one of the tracers showed Magus will pick it up. So, Nivira. No bomb plot and a one versus three. And Astrana should be able to keep their cool here and just slowly overpower him. Yeah, not really fighting him too aggressively. And eventually they'll find the kill. So it's just so interesting because you're right. The fact that they keep having this banana control and, and are allowed to get it this much. Ooh, but not this time. <laughs> he tried to jump. 
and device will pick them right out but normally you would love that on the t side it would give you a lot of options to work with and it's not what we're seeing flashed in sip was flashed as well but i guess that doesn't even matter lining up the kill against rpk who's also had a very very tough map so far Mivira gets tagged to the wall this is looking so dominant for astralis vitality they have some smokes i mean they could try and, and block him out but that'll also signal that they're coming so it's there's no perfect way to do it at this point in time you don't have the time for it you certainly don't have the manpower and there's another grenade <laughs> Saibuna, one versus five, and he's going to go down 10 to four. Either of these teams, right, would be would be considered a favorite going to the grand final. What, however, what, you know, so whoever gets there, it's going to be real interesting. Ooh, Capri trying to spray through, and Device, he was in middle, so everyone was focused on that balcony. As soon as that gunfight breaks out, that is... It's unbelievable what's happening here. They are just picking them apart down the middle again. Reloading will finally get Capri killed, but... At this point, does it even really matter? Two versus four, Misutra and RPK. This has been just a world-class CT side out of Astralis. And uh, right now, I mean, they are just looking absolutely fantastic. Device, once again, holding Arch side, got that lock. RPK can get in here. There's no there's no flashes, though, to help, so they have to do it dry. Device lining them up. Not quite a two for one, but Masuta, he is forced into Megis again. That will be 11 4 in the first half in favor of Astralis, who are now just five rounds away. And Vitality have three men here, but if they lose one of these fights, this bomb site's going to get overwhelmed. They have to win the first battle, or I don't think there's going to be a chance of stopping all of the Glocks. So let's just see. Oh, there's the very one. He's going to get overwhelmed. And the spin. Dupree turning around. Double Glock kill. And that's the A bomb site completely gone. And there's your answer to uh, Zaiwu from Astralis is Dupree with 22 frags, five assists. And, I mean, getting those two shots right there, he sees that pinch coming as well. Yeah. He is so good. And he was doing a lot of the work as well on these maps. I mean, Dupree has been a standout player so far for Astralis. But now let's see if they can pull this off. Apex and Zywoo, the raid boss, is still alive, Anders. I mean, there should be no way, but we keep saying that, and it keeps happening anyway. He's essentially walking into a three-way crossfire. His teammate is dead on the other side. Apex got shut down, and they're just hiding from him out in the open. And he does not get the chance here. So... 12 on the side of Astralis. Sort of the, the, the swap pairing between those two, I think, is fine. I have no, no objection to it at all. But there's no doubt that it looks a little bit strange with Chocks out of the mix. Nivira, that's a nice boost, a nice flick, taking down Device. And this is absolutely the last chance for Vitality to do anything in this series. We are going to have to do something great out of them. Masuta, the spray, it does not quite connect. Glaive stays alive for a second longer Apex. Going to roll in there, and RPK actually through the side of the building to take down Dupree. Now it's Megas can sip left. Two versus four. Apex, he's got the right idea. Does crouch right under, but it's still fine. It's still just some good info. Megas has the bomb, and he's making his way out there. So they're really far apart. It's going to be, you know, both the, the members of Vitality doing a lot here. And it comes to nothing. Saiwa will take down Megas. That's a beautiful flashbang to set it up with. And there's nothing Sip could do. Again, they, they, they're going to go fight him. They don't really have to. He'll make it out. He'll save the AK. Good round. Solid round. I love it from Vitality. They should be capable oh. of keeping their cool. This is getting dangerous. They're actually right on the other side. They're going to push out. They wanted to surprise them. Sorry, gets a double anyway. That could have been the end of the round right then and there. If he just gets traded, there's nothing they could do. Now, Apex, he's going to get smoked off. I don't know if he can catch anyone for the smoke. He's actually thinking about running through. He's got no backup here, and he still gets a kill. I mean, that hard to say if it's worth it or not, but certainly better than going straight down. So two on two for the after plant, and Vitality should absolutely go for this. Yes. I mean... Otherwise, you're never going to make it back here. They have a couple of grenades. They have a kit as well. But yeah, it might just all come down to this. They're not going to have a lot to fight with after it. So, Astralis, Sip, and Dupree. What a battle. And the, the Molotov goes in. So now they can't even make it through. They've already been burned. They, this might actually... The retake might almost already be done with here. They've been slowed down. More grenades right on top. It's so disgusting, isn't it? And RPK, he can't do anything there. Double kill for Sip. 15 rounds for Astralis. A single round away from the grand finals. A high-level team. Like, both of them are just such a high level. I, I really enjoy this. But um, Vitality definitely... Shocked to find exactly how good Astralis are on this map. Device with a nice clean flick to take down Apex. The only thing is the bomb is in second mid, so 
theoretically they could get caught and run out of time it's not looking likely they're all rotating through ct spawn forget the theory 30 seconds on the clock and just go away eh? sip is even i think he heard them What's he heard them run out so yeah away. they might you got 20 seconds boys Megas is still sitting in B, but now they've actually made themselves this very difficult for them. So, you know, look at this. Device is going to get caught. RPK and Misito are here. 15 seconds on the clock for Astralis. Megas is really deep in. They don't know that he's up this close. Nine seconds left, and there's no one to stop the bomb from going down. So, yeah, that looked really odd, but maybe it won't even matter at the end. They were so confident. They were just like, ah, we got this. It's fine. <laughs> well, confidence. I mean, why would they not be... They've done everything right on this map. This has been such a power performance out of the Danish side. Misuta goes down, Nivira the last one, and Astralis, uh, I mean, they're going to be the first team in the grand final. Nivira going to be found 16 to 5. It took all three maps, but we have found our first finalist right here, and they definitely deserve it. Absolutely power performance coming out from them. Yeah, Apex, they're showing it all there. Not